Sean, we're recording. Luke! Thanks to Trojan Man, I am not your father. This video is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide, your one-stop shop for all your outdoor needs. Check them out at www.sportsmansguide.com. Special thanks to Bamberry for providing us with a great recording setup. If you're in the Houston area and you need a place to do any type of recording or band practice, definitely the place to go. Open 24 hours, you simply log in, uh, see if the spot is open, uh, register it, and then you simply get your access code and you come and go as you please. You can't really beat that, especially since a lot of places are closed right now for recording. Be sure to check them out at bambarracks.com. Howdy folks, welcome to another video here at Ordnance Lab. This is going to be a bit of a prequel to our Jackass video where you get to see yours truly go out there and get CS'd and all kinds of stuff. And um, it's pretty funny uh, to give y'all a bit of a spoiler, I end up being like Walter White in my underwear <laughs> coffin and all kinds of crap coming out of my nose, so it's going to be entertaining. But what we wanted to do beforehand is to kind of explain some of these gas mask stuff from Mira Safety. We've had this for months. We've been trying to get this scheduled. It's just been crazy with COVID and Jake being deployed with the National Guard and me having real job stuff to do, but we're finally getting around to doing it. And what this is going to be is this is going to be mostly a, a general introduction. Mira's had a bunch of stuff come out actually since we got these items, so we're only going to be covering some of the specific things such as their filters and also the CM6M and the CM7M mask. And one thing I also want to make sure it's clear is that I am definitely not a seaburn, chemical, biological, nuclear, or radiological guy, or that's what the Army calls now what used to be NBC, which stood for nobody cares. I certainly am not an NBC specialist, nor am I a chemist. Jake can sit there and blabber on about all that stuff. I just know that it sucks being hit by CS from personal experience, actually <laughs> recent personal experience. But anyways, I digress. So what we're talk about here is again, the mirror products. The first thing we're gonna talk about is gonna be the actual filters for them because not all filters are created equally. If you're gonna go out there and let's say you're gonna be doing a renovation in your house, there's gonna be crap in the air that you don't wanna be breathing in, are you gonna to wanna to necessarily use the same filter that you would be using if you were gonna be Dr. Stanley Goodspeed on the rock handling VX gas or whatever? Probably not though, you can. So for that kind of situation where you're just gonna be wanting to keep stuff out of your lungs, Mira has these particle filters. And this right here is a standard 40 millimeter container that can go into any sort of 40 millimeter mask. So it doesn't matter if you have a Mira mask or another mask, but what you can do is you can use this right here for a variety of different things that are gonna fall below that threshold of something you really don't wanna keep out of your lungs. For a continuation of our jackassery with the products, because we're gonna make a lot of videos here with the Mira stuff, we'll see how this right here actually works against a uh, CS agent and oh, probably be pretty amusing. Um, probably not more amusing than me getting gas, but I don't wanna get y'all too excited about that. The next one up is gonna be a police one. And what this right here is designed for, it's designed for law enforcement agencies. For oftentimes they're gonna be employing a chemical agent. One of the things you always wanna remember about chemical weapons is that it works as well on you as it does the enemy. So if you're gonna be a law enforcement entity of a crowd control situation, let's say, and you wanna go out there and get people to go away, well, you throw it out there, you wanna make sure that your guys are protected. And this right here is the police canister. We have one mounted on the mask right here, and I can assure you that it works when used correctly. And what that right there is designed to do is designed to keep out a CS type of threat. We're gonna do some testing to see how well it works with OC agents, which is a different type of agent, and Jake could get into all all that stuff, but that is primarily oriented towards police departments. The next one up is an actual Seaburn filter. One of the things that this right here is specialized in doing, of course, would be keeping out those biological and chemical threats. Now, it's not going to keep you safe from a radiological threat. If you remember at Chernobyl, when they sent the liquidators up to the top of the reactor to go shovel the stuff off, they had them wearing gas masks. Well, it's not going to protect you from radiation and whatnot, though I guess presumably maybe it'll stop you from inhaling some stuff, but it's definitely not what you want to go out there and enter a actual hot zone for radiation. So, all right, moving on. We'll get into talking about some of the masks. 
Moving on to the specific masks from Mira. Again, we're gonna be covering the CM6M and the CM7M. But before we get into the specific masks themselves, one of the real advantages that Mira has from its competitors is that they have a 20 year shelf life. The real advantage for that, especially for like a government agency, where oftentimes they have to have the capability to respond to an event that may not may be something that will never occur, such as a seaburn attack, or whatever, where they have to have these items on the shelf. A lot of the competitors have a shelf life of anywhere five to eight years for the products, which means they have to go be repurchased. So with this Mira stuff, if you're a government agency, the big advantage is gonna be that you're able to go out there and purchase something. Even if you never use it, it's able to sit on the shelf for up to 20 years, such as this box right here has an expiration date in 2040. And that applies to both the filters and also to the masks. So that was one of the things that I was really impressed by with Mira, again, where government agencies so you can go out there and purchase a capability to respond to a seaburn or other type of event where they need that type of ability to defeat that threat and have it on the shelf for 20 years and maybe never use it or if they do they know it's still going to work so moving on to the first one we have here this is a cm6m this one right here has a wider visor than the other one which has a little bit of a chernobyl type of look on it what it does is it's got two different ports for filters where you can run it on either side or run both of them on there. And one of the advantages I've seen, I have, uh, or I had previously before we had got this mirror stuff, I have a Scott mask. And the Scott mask seems to be more designed for like an industrial application, or I don't know, Walter White hanging out underneath that laundry lab cooking meth or whatever. And it didn't have any way to hydrate. So if you're in a chemical or biological environment, you can't just say, hey guys, pause, you know, index, we're gonna sit here and drink water so that you don't get heat stroke when you're wearing mop gear. But with the mirror products, they all come with the ability to interface with this included, um, canteen. And this canteen seems to be the standard military style one where I believe this would work with a U.S. military one. Again, we'll go out there and test it in the future. But all of their masks are able to interface with that. And again, they can take the standard 40 millimeter filters from any manufacturer and you can use them or the Mira filters with them. The second one they have here is the CM7M, which is more compact and it's got the Chernobyl type of look for what I'd call that. And this one here, again, it also has that same ability to interface with the included canteen. It just has a little bit more limited view, but we were going out there, um, this is a few weeks ago, we were actually going out there and seeing how well we could shoulder a weapon, and it seemed that this right here was a much better option for you to go out there and actually use it with a weapon, but we'll do some future videos where we go out there and actually do that. Hopefully this video was informative. Again, I'm definitely not a Seaburn guy. There's some 74 Delta out there that could probably pick the hell out of everything that I've said and show me how I'm wrong. But this is going to be mostly an informative video for what's going to be coming up with the series of videos with the Mira safety products. We're going to be trying to get some of the other stuff that they've had come out recently, be able to include in some of the future videos. But again, this right here is just to give you the informative information about it and also show some of the advantages of the Mira stuff, especially again, like I spoke about for like a law enforcement or government agency where they have to have that capability ability for something that can sit on the shelf for like 20 years or so without being replaced, that's a really significant advantage that really, for me, stood out with the Mirror products. So thanks for watching. And again, our next video with this, you'll get to see me actually go out there and do some jackassery with CS. And this is just going to be one of a series of videos we'll be doing with the Mirror products and showing their actual capabilities. And we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.